guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you five easy and cool licks that will help you improvise like a pro. And I'm not talking about heavy theory here or practicing skills for hours. Trust me on this one. It will take you only about 30 minutes and you can make a solo as complex as you wish or just stick with a simple one. It's all in your hands. I'll give you later some tips how to get even more creative and make variations. It's Digi from Well of Music here and if you want to see more cool videos give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And now I will break down the whole idea for you and will teach you slow and easy using a backing track produced for the purpose of this exercise. Visit our website to get the full tutorial. The link is over here. With the lesson you will get the backing track, music sheet with the licks as well as chord chart with my favorite combinations. All right. Let's move on. Okay, let's start with the structure of this exercise. It is built on 2-5-1 chord progression in C major scale. And we will be using a number system. So when I say 1, I mean the first degree. When I say 5, it will be the fifth degree of the scale. A few important things before we start. No need to play the left hand. If you're a beginner, just use the backing track and it will still sound cool. Later on, you can skip to the left hand section and learn the chords. Tip 2. Using the same shape and fingering for each lick is very important. It will make it a lot easier to move around the degrees of the scale. Okay, the most important is don't forget that music is all about feeling and not so much about scales and chords. So try to connect to it while you improvise. And one thing that will help you is the accent on some of the notes. In other words, playing louder some of the notes compared to the others. Okay, more about this later. So let's start with the first lick. So we have 1, 5, flat 5, and 4. And I like to play this twice. Okay, so let's move to second degree. Third degree. Four, five, six, seven. But if you like, you can play this from flat two, flat three, sharp four. Flat six, flat seven. You can think about this as colors. So every chord is related to the improvisation with your right hand. And it's up to you what color do you like to use. So I will give you my favorite positions of every chord. You will have this chord chart and you can relate to it but you can explore later and you can make your own chord chart so let's start with the first chord and the first lick our two chord my favorite positions are mm, sounds good two Five and six. Yeah, you can see if I start flat seven, let's try. It sounds a bit dissonant, so I personally don't like to use it, but it's up to you again. Okay, chord two. 
have one. Yeah, sounds cool. Two. Nice. Three. Sharp four. That's cool, I like it. A bit dissonant. Five. Six. And seven. Mm, this one is cool. Okay, I will go to chord three. Flat 13, so we have again one. Three here, sharp four, five, six, and flat seven. Yeah, this one sounds cool with flat seven. Let's move to one chord. No, it doesn't sound good. You can hear. I don't like it. That's why I like two. Yes, this one is good. Three. Five. Six. And seven. That's nice. The next chord is one chord, nine, sus four. Yeah, one and two are good. Three is nice. I like four. Five, six, and flat seven. Okay, we will look at the last chord. Flat nine. So my favorite positions are flat two. Three, three, four, sharp four, five, flat six. Okay, let's try the lick with the backing track.